Alright guys, welcome to your 45th UDK tutorial, and in this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play a sound whenever you hit this light switch. So by default, your lights turn on, nothing happens. But wouldn't it be cool if the lights turn on and it played a sound at the same time? To answer that question, yes, it would be cool if you guys couldn't figure that one out. So let me go ahead and, well, I guess I'll tell you guys how to do that. The first thing we need to do is it's easiest if we select a sound first so go ahead and open your content browser and aside from you know materials and textures and static meshes this content browser also comes packed with a whole bunch of sounds so if you clear everything out and hit sound cues go ahead and start double clicking and if you double click you can preview the sounds so go ahead and preview one and look for one you like. I'm just going to go ahead and use this first one right here. As you can tell, I use it because it's very obvious whenever the sound plays. It's actually the sound, um, there's something called a bio rifle in the Unreal Tournament. And this is the sound that plays whenever you shoot your rifle. So anyways, go ahead and select the sound. You guys can use the same sound as me if you want. And now X out of the content browser. Don't do any dragging and dropping or anything like that. You just need to have it selected. Now in Kismet, what you need to do is this. What we need to add is a new action. And before I even start adding actions, let me tell you guys that. Whenever you have an event, I told you guys that an event is basically something that happens in the UDK. This event is us touching the trigger. And I made the action that occurred is us turning a light on and off. So whenever we touch a trigger, a light turns on and off. But now let me explain this. You can have multiple actions for a single event. For example, what we're going to do in this case scenario is we're going to touch a trigger and not only are we going to turn a light on and off, but we also are going to play a sound. So I just want to point that out that you can have multiple actions for a single event. We don't need to set up a new touch event or anything like that. It's really easy. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that. The very first thing we need to add is a new action. So go ahead, let me position this a little better. Right click up here and hit new action and we want to play a sound. So go down to the sound menu and hit play sound. Now this is the play sound action and I'm let me position this a little bit better. So now you guys can probably guess what's going to happen. Aside from having this touched go right to turn on, let's go ahead and also drag another wire from this to play sound. Now you guys can see visually that whenever we touch this trigger, it's going to turn on the lights and also play a sound. However, this play sound action, it needs some more information. It says, all right, I know I'm supposed to play sound right now, but what sound am I supposed to play? Well, we need to tell it to play that sound that we selected in the content browser. So if you look under this Seek Act Play Sound menu right here, you're going to see a property called Play Sound. Now here is where you say what sound you want to play. And since we already have that sound selected in the content browser, we can just hit this green arrow and if we hover over it says Use Selected Object in Content Browser. So now when we hit that green arrow, if you have a sound selected in the content browser, it should fill right in right in there so now it knows what sound to play and everything is good to go so now we can go ahead and X out of this hit play from here and check it out now whenever I hit this trigger not only all the are the lights going to turn on but it's also going to play that bio rifle sound so listen closely <laughs> I guess you guys didn't need to listen that closely because it's awfully loud actually you guys might <laughs> You guys might want to turn down your volume a little bit, but I'm going to do it like three more times, so get ready. And one for good measure. There we go. So now, as you can see, if I open Kismet one last time, a single event can not only lead to a single action, but also multiple actions, as in the case in this tutorial. This single touch event, which was us touching the trigger, not only played a sound, but also turn the lights on. So that's all I want to teach you guys in this tutorial. That That's basically how you use a sound when working in the UDK and also the idea that a single event can lead to multiple actions. 
So in the upcoming tutorials, actually I'm not even going to tell you guys what I'm going to teach you guys in up to upcoming tutorials because I just guarantee this. It's going to be awesome, so just wait and see. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.